Describe image facts. You have 25 seconds to look at an image and 40 seconds to describe it. You have to answer 3 to 4 describe images on the test day. Describe image contributes 22% marks in the speaking section. Bonus tips. Speak for around 25 to 30 seconds at least. You don't need to focus on grammar. Try to speak out at least 8 to 10 keywords from the image. The graph shows population trends in Europe and Asia as a percentage of world population between 1750 and 2000. Overview. Asia had a much bigger percentage of the world population during this period than Europe. Point 1. Asia's proportion dropped from 65 to 55% between 1750 and 1950 but reached 60% in 2000. Point 2. Europe's population was fairly stable from 1750 to 1850 at just over 20% of world population. Point 3. Then it rose slightly in 1900 before falling by more than half to just over 10% in 2000. The charts show why males and females stopped going to school. Overview. In both cases the main reason was that they had completed their studies. Point. This applied to 65% of females and 60% of males. Point A. The second reason was that they had got a job, but 25% of males had work compared with 2% of females. Point 2. Almost the same percentage of females also left school for personal or family reasons, while only 4% of males did. Point 3. A very small percentage of students left due to illness. 3% of males and 5% of females. Point 4. And a slightly bigger percentage left for other, non-specified reasons. Point 5.
The chart shows the future trends in the percentage of American citizens over 65 years old. Overview. In 2010, about 13% of U.S. citizens were over 65.1. This figure is predicted to rise steadily so that by 2035, it will be 20%.2. Between 2010 and 2030, the rise will be quite steady, whereas between 2030 and 2035, the rise is less significant. 3, suggesting that the increase in the aging population may peak shortly after 2035.4. However, the rise will have serious implications in areas such as the provision of government services. Implication. The graph shows revenue growth in millions of dollars for two companies between 2006 and 2024. Overview. The revenue of company X is forecast to rise steadily from $300 million to $1,800 million in 2024. Point one. Company Y's revenue started at zero in 2006 and is likely to increase slowly to about $400 million in 2019. Point two. After that, however, Predictions are that the company's growth will surge between 2019 and 2024 to just overtake company X at $1,900 million. Point three. The graph shows reading achievement over three years for two groups of students, successful and struggling readers, measured in words per minute. Overview. Successful readers make faster overall progress than struggling readers. Point one, overall trend. Over three years, they go quite steadily from 20 words per minute to 120 words per minute. Point one a, support. Struggling readers make smaller gains and seem to regress a little in the fall. Point two, perhaps because they don't read much during the summer break. Point 2a, possible reason. Overall, they go from about 8 words per minute to about 50 in the same period of time. Point 2b, support.
The diagram shows a shadoof which is a method of collecting water. Overview. It consists of a raised walkway that is attached to a post by a pivot to form a lever. Object Description Part 1. On the end of the lever is a rope and a bucket. Object Description Part 2. The operator climbs up to the walkway and uses his weight to balance the lever. Process Description Part 1. He moves forward so that the lever falls and the bucket tips NTO the water and then he moves backward again so that his weight raises the lever and the bucket of water rises for collection. Process Description Part 2. The plan shows the layout of a student apartment. Overview. There is one large living area with a table and chairs, and an armchair, point one, with a small kitchen and small bathroom to one side, point two. There is a separate bedroom with a bed and wardrobe and two windows, point three. The study area is on the right of the entrance and is part of the living area. It has a desk near the window and would probably also have bookshelves, point four. The apartment seems quite convenient for a student living on their own, drawing a conclusion. The graph shows the rainfall and temperature over the period of a year in the Great Lakes area of the USA. Overview. We can see that the two seem to broadly correspond, in that the rainfall gets heavier as the temperature increases. Point 1. Both the temperature and the rainfall are at their height in July. The rainfall is heaviest at over 90 mm and the temperature at about 18 degrees. Point 2. Both decrease towards the end of the year, although rainfall rises slightly in December and January. Point 3. The temperature drops below zero around October and the rainfall is at its lowest in October and November with under 20 mm.4.
The bar graph compares energy consumption in North and South America in 2007, overview, and shows that in both regions, oil was the main source of energy at 45% of the total for South America and 41% for North America, point one. Both areas used a lot of natural gas, nearly a quarter of their total consumption, point two. Of the other sources of energy, the main differences were that South America used a lot more hydroelectric energy than North America, 28% compared to 5%, point three, but in North America 20% of its energy came from coat compared to only 5% in South America, point four. Neither region depended much on nuclear energy, less than 10%, point five. This is a language college timetable for a week, and it shows a balance of classes and social activities. Overview. After a tour of the college and a welcome morning tea on day one, there are English language classes on days one to four, and the classes are from nine to twelve, except on Monday, when they have a lesson after lunch. Point one. In the afternoons usually they have social activities on site or visits to a local attraction or a junior school classroom. Point two. On day five, there are activities for the whole day. Some things they might do include tennis, films, games and surfing lessons. Point three. At the weekend, the students spend time with their homestay families. Point four, five. 